Be strong. Don't let him beat you down, okay? You know, um, from living the life, from experiencing this myself, I totally know what these guys are going through and what women are going through. And I know what these people are going through. So you have to be able to stay strong. And it's not that I can sit here and promise you a cure. To this. There's only one cure, and that's for the people to wake up. That's for the people to realize how bad they've been when they've played lied to the loss of their morals, family structure, and values was the worst thing they could have ever done. But that, unfortunately, they're not going to realize this until it's too late. Now, it's gone so far that just stopping is not going to be a feed. Something is going to happen. People are going to have to wake up first. One of the bad things is you wind up isolating yourself. And you do it unwillingly, but willingly. And the reason I say but willingly is because you are allowing the depression to beat you. Do you understand what I'm telling you? You're allowing the depression to beat you. And you cannot allow the depression to beat you because if it beats you, then what do you have? What do you have? You have to be strong. I understand you don't have somebody in your life, but you've got to take that off your mind. You've got to eliminate that off your mind and it's not going to be easy to do and you've got to be able to figure out something to make yourself happy for yourself I understand that's a dream but understand this you're better to have that dream and to strive to keep the stuff off your mind because your mind needs a rest and that's no lie your body needs a rest because not only is the stress not helping your health but you ain't helping yourself any. I understand that you do care. I understand you want. And I understand the hurt. Oh, how well do I understand the hurt. Because it literally tears you up from the inside out. It literally will turn a good person into a bad person. If you allow the depression to get out of hand with it, you've got to free your mind up. You cannot keep your mind focused on it can't get somebody in your life around the clock. If you keep your mind focused in that area around the clock, you are torturing yourself. You're going to be self-destructing yourself. So my advice is, you've got to stay strong. My advice is simple. Freeze some time up for your mind. You've got to put your mind on the work you're doing. Take your mind off of everything but the work you're doing. Put your mind in that area. When you do that, you give your body the break and you give your mind the break and the stress a break. And the more you do that, the better you'll get at doing it. The stronger you'll get. And just go on because if you don't do this for yourself, nobody can do it for you. But if you don't do this for yourself, you're only hurting yourself. You're destroying yourself. Okay? I understand what's causing it. And it's not right, and it needs to be stopped. If there's only one way to stop, it's to wake the people up. Think about what I've said. Try to put your mind in other spots. Do something for yourself to get the stress off yourself, because you will tell yourself to do self-destruction when you will take yourself out. Sure, you're right. You're being treated wrong. It's evil. It's pure evil. But that's what's running our world today, is evil. Everything's upside down, everything's been turned around. You just got to stay strong and get together with the people that are awake. The people know what New World Order is and the people that are awake. Socialize with these people, become friends. Find ways to take your mind off of it. And we continue to talk, come up with ideas and keep pushing the work. That's all you can do because you've got to wake people up. People have to see it for themselves before people are going to be willing to change it. That's the next video. Yeah.